Ever wondered why some people seem to magnetically attract others in any group setting? Well, the answer lies in the power of popularity. This isn't about being the loudest or the most extroverted, it's about radiating a certain charisma that draws people in. Popularity is a fascinating social phenomenon that can open up a myriad of opportunities. It's like having a superpower that can help you navigate through various social scenarios with ease, whether it's in your personal life, at work, or even in online communities, being popular can help you build stronger relationships, have your voice heard, and make your journey through life a little bit smoother. But remember, popularity isn't about pleasing everyone or being something you're not. It's about authenticity, positivity, and consistency. If you're intrigued about becoming that charismatic person, then you're in for a treat. First things first, understanding the dynamics of your group is essential. Now, you might be wondering, why is that so important? Well, just like a mechanic can't fix a car without understanding how it works, you can't really become popular in a group without understanding its dynamics. It's all about getting to know the inner workings and the unwritten rules that govern the group. Let's start with shared interests. Every group, whether it's a chess club or a rock band, has some common passions. These shared interests are the glue that holds the group together. So if you want to be popular, you need to understand and engage with these interests. You don't have to be an expert, but showing genuine curiosity and enthusiasm can go a long way. Next up, we have common goals. These are the objectives that everyone in the group is striving to achieve. It could be winning a soccer league, acing a group project, or even just having a great time at a party. Understanding these goals and actively contributing towards them can make you an invaluable member of the group. Now, on to group culture. This is a bit trickier to define, but it's essentially the set of behaviors, attitudes, and values that are accepted and promoted within the group. It's the vibe of the group, if you will. It could be a relaxed, laid-back culture or a high-energy go-getter culture. To fit in and be popular, it's crucial to understand and adapt to this culture. However, remember that adapting doesn't mean losing your individuality. It's about finding a balance between being yourself and fitting in with the group. So, there you have it. Understanding your group is all about identifying shared interests, working towards common goals, and adapting to the group culture. It's about being a team player while also being yourself. Remember, to make a difference, you first need to understand the difference. Now, let's dive into the art of building authentic connections. Authenticity. A simple word yet so profound, it's the cornerstone of every genuine connection. Whether you're looking to be more popular in the group or simply aiming for deeper, more meaningful relationships, authenticity should be your guiding star. It's not about putting on a show or pretending to be someone you're not. No, it's about being true to who you are, embracing your uniqueness and sharing that with others. So how do you show authenticity? How do you establish these real connections? The first step is showing genuine interest. It's not enough to just be present in the room. You have to be present in the conversation. Show curiosity about the other person's thoughts, their feelings, their experiences, Ask open-ended questions that encourage them to share more about themselves. But here's the catch. Don't just ask for the sake of asking. Truly listen to what they're saying. Absorb it. Reflect on it. This is what we call active listening. It's not just about hearing the words. It's about understanding the emotions, the thoughts behind those words. It's about making the other person feel heard, validated. This leads us to empathy, the third piece of our authenticity puzzle. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It's about putting yourself in their shoes, seeing the world from their perspective. But this doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say or feel the same way they do. Empathy is about acknowledging their feelings, showing compassion and offering support. Remember, being popular is not about being liked by everyone. It's about forming meaningful connections with the people around you. It's about creating a sense of community, a sense of belonging. And that, dear listeners, is the art of building authentic connections. It's not about perfecting a persona or mastering a script. It's about being yourself, showing genuine interest, actively listening and empathizing with others. Building authentic connections is not about impressing others, but about expressing yourself. Popularity isn't just about being liked, it's about spreading positivity. And this is where the power of positivity comes into play. It's like a magnet that attracts people. 
The more positive energy you radiate, the more people are drawn to you. It's not magic, but rather a simple principle of human nature. We all prefer to be around those who make us feel good, right? Uh, now, maintaining a positive attitude isn't always easy. Life's ups and downs can sometimes bring us down. But here's a little secret. Positivity is not about ignoring life's challenges or pretending they don't exist. It's about facing them head on with a hopeful heart and a resilient spirit. It's about seeing the silver lining in every cloud and the opportunities in every challenge. It's about focusing on the good, even when things seem bad. But how do we maintain this positive attitude? Well, it starts with our thoughts. Our thoughts shape our reality. If we focus on the positive, we start to see the world in a brighter light. We become more resilient, more hopeful, and yes, more popular. It's about making the conscious decision to be positive every single day. And here's the best part. Positivity is contagious. When you're positive, you uplift those around you. Your optimism can inspire others to see the world in a different light, and your resilience can motivate them to face their own challenges with courage. And in doing so, you not only become more popular, but you also make a positive impact on the lives of those around you. So let's make positivity our superpower. Let's use it to attract people, to uplift them, and to make a positive difference in their lives. It's not just about being liked. It's about being a beacon of positivity in a world that can sometimes be dark. Remember, your vibe attracts your tribe. Consistency is the key to becoming more popular in your group. This statement is as true as the sun rising each morning. Consistency, my friends, is the secret sauce that can transform your popularity from a fleeting moment into a lasting legacy. Before we delve deeper, let's understand what consistency really means. It's not about doing the same thing over and over in a mechanical way. No, consistency is about showing up, staying true to your values, and delivering on your promises day in and day out. It's about being the person others can rely on, not just once, but every single time. Now let's talk about how you can apply consistency to maintain and enhance your popularity. First and foremost, be consistently present. This doesn't mean you have to attend every single gathering or event. Rather, it's about making your presence felt even when you're not physically present. You can do this by staying connected, reaching out and showing genuine interest in what's happening in your group. Next, remain consistently positive. Let's face it, nobody wants to hang around a negative Nelly. A positive attitude can be infectious, spreading good vibes all around. So choose to be the person who lifts others up, who finds the silver lining in every cloud and who sees the glass as half full, not half empty. Lastly, be consistently authentic. Don't put on a mask or play a role just to impress others. People can sense when you're not being true to yourself and it can be off-putting. Instead, let your true colors shine. Be the real you with your unique quirks and qualities. Remember, it's your authenticity that makes you stand out from the crowd. The beauty of consistency is that it builds trust and credibility. It shows others that you're not just a one-hit wonder, but a person of substance who's here to stay. So remember, consistency isn't just about repetition, it's about commitment. And remember, consistency isn't about perfection, it's about making progress. So keep moving forward, keep growing, and keep shining. After all, popularity isn't a destination, it's a journey. And consistency is your loyal travel companion on this exciting journey. So there you have it, the roadmap to becoming more popular in your group. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. First, we dove into the importance of understanding your group. It's all about recognizing the dynamics, the shared interests, and how you can contribute in a meaningful way. Next, we discussed the significance of building authentic connections. Genuine bonds are formed when you show genuine interest in others, listen to their stories, and share your own. We also talked about the power of positivity. A positive mindset can be infectious, spreading good vibes around, making you a beacon of light in your group. And finally, we stressed the importance of consistency. Being consistent in your actions and behavior conveys reliability and trustworthiness. Remember, popularity isn't about being better than others, it's about being the best version of yourself.